It is often said that the shape is the most important factor to consider when purchasing a new mouse, often even more important than the tech inside of it. Hey everyone, it's VT Matty. Today we have a very special mouse review video on the Orbital Pathfinder, the world's first fully modular mouse. For the past couple months, I've gotten the wonderful opportunity to test this out for myself. This is the mouse itself, and the box you're seeing in front of me here contains all of the possible attachments that you can use to build your perfect mouse shape, perfectly fitting your mouse grip. The mouse itself, regardless of the attachments, is well built. This runs at 1kHz polling rate, which obviously is not ideal for most players, but it's still a solid unit. This is an early access model, but it's stable, you know? There's barely any creaking or shifting going on with the core of the unit. The clicks are nice and crisp, they feel a bit like the OP1 8K's clicks. Very responsive, but not so quick to activate that it misclicks or double clicks a lot. But then again, this would be just your standard gaming mouse. The real feature here is the ability to build any shape that you want. There's so many possible configurations of shapes that you can make, there's no way that you won't eventually find a config that works for you, your grip, and your aiming style. For example, if you've got larger hands, and you want to have a good claw grip or even a palm grip on their mouse, you can attach one of the larger humps or use the spacers on the left and right sides to add more width. They have their own specific configuration codes that make it easier to share what shapes you're working with. For the past week I've been using AAH and AAM, which denotes the left and right side panel shapes and a high hump. I also use the L1 spacer, which just adds a little bit more width to the left side, which feels pretty nice to me. And yeah, I perform quite well with this setup because I can grip the mouse very naturally. It is literally built to fit my hand well. And this can be done like in between matches too. I don't recommend doing that, but let's say imagine you're playing Overwatch and you feel like your aim or your mouse grip is a bit off. You can just assemble a new mouse shape in under two minutes. You might say something like, oh this mouse feels too high. Okay, so let's use the medium hump instead of the high hump. Okay, well now the sides are not wide enough. Just add the spacers or use the wider pinch panels. Essentially, the mission behind this mouse is very clear. With this entire kit, you likely do not have to go out or buy several different mice just to test them out and find out that they do not fit you. It's just a waste of time and money. With the orbital mouse, you can assemble the shape that you want as immediately as you get it. And if you're one of those players who, where you do not know what mouse shape you prefer, this could be the starting grounds for your experimentation. That is why what Orbital is doing here is beautiful, and I am confident it is going to help so many players. Now, aside from all the praise that I can give them, it's still an early unit. It still has some problems, Obviously, the build is not as super high quality as other, more well-known mice. Sometimes the pieces don't snap in very smoothly into place, the right side on my unit specifically needs to be wiggled a little to get it out, and I don't exactly want to tug on the piece too hard because I don't want to break anything. The hump also feels a bit less sturdy than the rest of the mouse and the other pieces, especially on the ends it can bend inwards and this just doesn't really add to the feeling of a super solid, well-built mouse when all the pieces are added on. Then again, this is a review unit, not the final product. In terms of how it performs in aim trainers and games, I personally don't perform as well as I do on my main mouse, the G-Pro-X, but that's on me, not the mouse. Regardless, it does feel pretty nice. And this is good remembering the prospect that one day, we might have mouse-shaped builds that are customized for success in specific aiming scenarios. That would be really cool and so schizophrenic and aim trainer build, but oh well, that's the future. So that's all I've really got for this mouse. Do I see myself using this long term? For competition, not really. I am in a spot where I have already found a mouse that absolutely is my preferred shape. But for experimentation, absolutely I will continue to use it. And I will advocate that anyone taking shape and mouse grips into consideration should pick this up. So thank you very much, the guys over at Orbital. 
the work they're doing here is so ingenious. I have high hopes that this will open many new doors for the tech and gaming peripherals industry. With that said, this has been the Orbital Modular Mouse Review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy dock clicking.